In this video, we're going to cover how to troubleshoot issues where the spark igniter continues to spark, but the pilot won't light. You would see the heat light flashing on the front of the control when this happens, but when you lower the control panel, the pilot would not be lit. By the way, if this continues for 1 minute and 30 seconds, the control will display an E20D error. For a situation like this, always contact the store first before going to the location, and this way you can have them try to help resolve the issue on their own. Find out if the issue is happening on one VAT or on every VAT. If this is limited to just one VAT, then a service call will be needed since we know gas is supplied to the fryer. However, if this is happening on every VAT, then it almost always means that there's an issue with the gas supply to the fryer. You can save a service call on these by asking a crew member at the restaurant to first make sure the gas is securely connected to the fryer by having them disconnect the gas line and then securely reconnecting it until it snaps into place. Next, ask the crew member at the store to make sure the gas valve is open. If you open the left door on the fryer, the gas valve is located at the bottom and the handle should be turned so it is positioned in the same direction as the gas hose. At some locations, there is another gas shutoff located behind the fryer that will also need to be made sure that it is in the open position. Once both of these things are confirmed, have the crew member turn on each vat and wait a few minutes for the gas line to purge to see if the issue clears. There normally will be an E20D error while you wait for the gas line to purge. Just have the store confirm this on the control by pressing the check mark button under the error. Most likely, this will take care of the issue. If not, then this is most likely a gas supply related issue and a service call would be needed. To ensure a good chance of a first time fix for the service call, take along a replacement ignition module, a pilot assembly that matches the gas type, a gas valve coil, and a gas valve matching the gas type of the fryer. When at the store, ensure all of the things you had the customer check and then turn on the fryer to allow the pilot or pilots to light. If the pilot still doesn't light, check for voltage at the wires at the rear of the control that connect to the pilot coil of the gas valve. The wires are GVPV and GVCM. These go to the pilot coil. Connect your multimeter to these wires and then turn the fryer back on. When the spark igniter is sparking, pay attention to your voltage reading. If this voltage is 24 volts AC, then the voltage is correct and then you'll need to verify if there is a gas flow issue or a gas valve issue. If you don't have any gas pressure, then find and correct the issue with the gas supplied to the fryer. This may be an issue with a quick disconnect or something on the restaurant side. If you do have gas pressure, then check for obstructions in the pilot assembly. If the pilot is obstructed, either clean the pilot orifice or replace the pilot assembly. If there are no obstructions to the pilot, then narrow down whether this is an issue with the gas valve coil or the gas valve and replace the appropriate part. So that's how you can fix this issue if you have 24 volt AC present to the pilot valve coil at the gas valve. So what if you don't have voltage at the gas valve when the spark igniter is sparking? If there is no voltage found during this check, for a full VAT, if only one module is working and the other is not, no voltage will be present at the pilot valve. These modules work together where the left module must be energized and working in order for the right module to energize. If the ignition module or modules are energized, then measure voltage between PV and PVMV while the spark igniter is sparking. If you have voltage here, then find and correct the wiring issue between the ignition module and the gas valve. Otherwise, if no voltage, replace the faulty ignition module. So to recap sparking with no pilot, make sure the gas is on and connected to the fryer properly. Check for 24 volts between wires GVPM and GVCM at the control. If you have 24 volts, then troubleshoot either a gas supply issue or an obstruction in the pilot. And if no issues there, replace the gas valve coil or gas valve. If you don't have 24 volts present between these wires, then check for voltage to each ignition module, and then the output between PV and PVMV 
to determine if there's an ignition module wiring or control panel issue.